sort of fishing. Hey viewers, hope all is well. It is the usual hot and sunny day in Orlando, Florida, and boy is it hot. This is my lava hat because I feel like I'm standing in the middle of a volcano right about now. So today, I would like to discuss the creatures that live in my backyard. Those stubborn, much-needed pesky creatures that can sometimes be very annoying and quite scary if you're not paying attention when you dig your hand in the pot. Boy, the heat is unbearable today. I don't know what's going on, but we're blessed. It's a beautiful day, and I decided to go ahead and do a video. So hopefully you will enjoy this video. And come and look at the creatures with me that's taking over my backyard. Here's the first one right here. Yes, little lizards. They wreak havoc in the backyard. And what I mean by wreaking havoc is they're good creatures as far as getting the pests away from my plants. But when they're just running all over the place, it's just kind of hard to sit down and relax and um, enjoy the backyard. But after a while, you get used to them and you try to ignore them even though they won't let you. So these are some of the hiding places that you'll see them in because they like a lot of shade. And there we go, one right there, right by the pot. And he seems to love this big pot right here because he's always sitting in this direction, looking like a small dinosaur. And I also have this pet snail right here, Spooky. Hey, he's always sitting up there no matter how many times I knock him down. He has his little babies up there on the top. You can barely see them because they're so small. But there's little snails all up on the top. Central Florida seems to be having serious trouble with snails for the last two years. So we have them all over the fences, all over the walls. Everywhere you look is usually a snail somewhere. And no matter how quickly you knock them down, they get right back up there. Snail moves a lot faster than you would even think. Look at that one right there, trying to squeeze into the pot. They seem to love my pepper lane area. The snails and the lizards seem to take over that area. Sometimes they seem to fight for it. The lizards usually win. Here we got another lizard right there. He's called Rocky because he's always standing by that rock right there. There he go, posing for the picture. Which is shocking. Usually when you come up, he'll move a little bit and stand there and stare at you. And there we go, Cocoa Butterhead. Because he's always standing by the coconut mango tree. And he's very territorial, this one right here. So this is his area, and he usually won't move. We'll come back and see him again later. Here we go with another snail family right here. The mother and the baby on their way into the fruit tree pot. And here go the rest of the cousins right here. So they all like to hang out and climb up into the pots. Right here is my worm bag right here. And from what I can see is this worm right here seems to have been evicted out of his house over there or they got into some type of argument and outed him so he's going to burn up right there because this is where he belongs with the other hundred worms okay these kind of pests i can dig right here the little small butterflies and the uh, bees pollinating bees you know these are good for the plants and the fruit trees so these are the type of pests that 
I'll go ahead and live with. Well, I have to live with the other ones too, but I enjoy these more, the butterflies and the bees and the pollinators. And there's a picture of them. And here we go with Mr. Wasp right here. What is he digging for? I don't know. There's no fruits in the tree, but hey, maybe he knows something we don't. So I'm taking a quick video of him and not getting too close. And then he done already moved to another tree. So he moves from tree to tree to tree, as you can see. And like I said, I'm not going to get too close and upset his nerves because then they'll upset mine and I'll be going. And here we go again with Mr. Cocoa Head, Cocoa Butter Head, standing right by the coconut mango tree. Like I said, he's pesky. Now he's camera shy. Look at him. He doesn't even want to be seen right now. He's just giving me his tail in. But you will always find him in this area. No other one but him. And here we go, Mother Snail right here. She's one of the bigger ones that seem to hang around my blackberry bush. So hopefully that you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to end it with this beautiful plant right here. And I hope you have a peaceful, wonderful day. God bless.